Hello, my name is Tim Shoebridge. Welcome to this video. This is just a very, very brief video, just kind of showcasing a synth that's really quite old. It's this one here behind me. If you can see it, it's uh, by Kurzweil. It's the PC3. It's a classic synth from 2008, and that's when I bought it. Now, have you ever not used a piece of gear for a very, very long time, and it's kind of gathering dust in the corner, and you think to yourself, I'm going to sell it. Uh, and then when you get around to selling it, you just sort of like plug it in just that one last time, just to make sure it works, and just have a little listen to it. And then you realize, my God, it sounds so fantastic. I don't want to sell this thing after all. Well, that's what's happened to me with this particular keyboard here. I bought it in 2008 when it was released. Um, I played it for about a year and then it went into storage and I have not played it since. Um, I got it out of storage a few months ago. I've been meaning to sell it. Now's the time to sell it. I plug it in and play it and I am blown away by the presets on here and the sounds on here, I have to say. Now, the reason I originally bought it, well, there are two reasons why I originally bought it. First of all, I needed a MIDI controller keyboard and I really wanted a fully weighted, uh, you know, like piano key action. I couldn't afford that kind of spec uh, keyboard at the time. This one is semi-weighted. It's got 76 keys. It's semi-weighted. So that was as close as that action as I could get at the time. Also, it's packed full of some really wonderful presets. There's a lot of like, like pop keyboard uh, presets, very much inspired by the 90s. Um, there are a lot of presets on there inspired by the sounds of Peter Gabriel and Genesis and on all the music that I was loving and listening to at the time. There's a lot of uh, Yamaha CP80 electric grand piano presets on here, for example. Um, and actually, I saw Peter Gabriel in concert one of many times. I saw him in concert at around the same time that I bought this. And I saw that he had finally ditched his Yamaha CP80 electric grand piano. He wasn't taking it on tour with him anymore. And instead, he was using one of these Kurzweil's or what, the fully weighted keyboard version. And I thought, well, there you go. If it's good enough for Peter Gabriel, then it's good enough for me. So that's why I bought it. I only used it for about a year because I did end up being able to afford a MIDI controller keyboard that was fully weighted with wooden keys. Um, and I ended up using that. And this went into storage, as I say. So I've got it out of storage. I played it and I'm blown away. But actually, I'm not blown away by all the electric piano uh, presets and synth presets. I'm blown away by the orchestra presets. Now, back in 2008, I wasn't interested in orchestra sounds, orchestra, orchestra samples and presets. It wasn't something that interested me at all. But now it really does. Um, and I have spent an awful lot of money over the last few years on sample libraries from the likes of 8DO <clears throat> and Spitfire Audio in particular. I've got lots of their sample libraries. Um, <clears throat> and I'm really surprised how fantastic the orchestra samples sound on this PC3. Um, they might not be the highest quality compared to modern sample libraries. They might not have the highest fidelity, the sample rates. Um, they might have not have all of the sort of like the, the different orchestrations that are being recorded in the mic positions, etc. Of course not. But in terms of sounds where they've got some really interesting layers going on that really are quite inspiring and, and you can get really creative with, I'm really, really very, very impressed. So actually what I'm going to do is just play you some of those samples, sorry, those presets, which are samples. Um, I'll play you some of those, just the orchestra ones. I'm going to ignore all of the wonderful organ sounds and the electric piano sounds and the synth sounds that you can get out of this PC3. Just play the orchestra presets because I really am having a great time playing them and uh, they really are impressive. Um, so I hope you agree that they're uh, they're pretty good for the age. 2008 is a long time ago now um, and there's so much that you can get out of a uh, uh, a keyboard like this, they don't sell for very much uh, in the used market these days, and I think that we're kind of we're kind of forgetting about synths and keyboards from the 90s and the 2000s. You know, there's a lot of digital synthesizers coming out at the moment. Just it's just box standard virtual analog or FM synthesis or wavetable synths. And you know what? We invented all that back in the 90s. And there's some amazing synthesizers you can pick up really, really cheaply these days um, that give you all that, that functionality. They might not have the fidelity uh, and the sample rates of today's synths. They might not have the great interfaces of today's synths. Um, but I do think that we tend to overlook 
synths of this era and keyboards of this era. So that's enough talking from me. I'm going to play you now. It's literally 12 minutes as I do a little whirlwind tour through the orchestra presets of this PC3. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until the next time, as always, thank you very, very much for watching.
Thank you. 